Hello and welcome to a video tutorial for an introduction to latex math commands and latex editors for college students. Now if you're taking an upper level college math course you may have been required to submit your homeworks typed rather than handwritten. Maybe you're doing proofs. Now so far if you've had to insert equations into your homework documents so far you've probably used either the Microsoft Word Equation Editor or perhaps you've used a commercial plugin for Word called MathType. If this MathType is similar to the Equation Editor I've used it before it's actually pretty nice for your Word documents. Now if you've ever heard the professor mention something called latex before you may have wondered what is latex and what does it do? Now I'm sure there's plenty of latex tutorials online, but if you're a YouTube fan like me, I know that video tutor tutorials are easy and convenient, so enjoy. Now latex is similar to a computer programming language in that it takes commands and it outputs something. So let's go ahead and look at an easy example here. All latex commands start with a backslash. So we're going to type backslash SQRT, open braces, I'm going to put AB inside of the braces and then close braces and let's see what that looks like. Surprise, we got the square root of AB down here in pretty print. Okay, so latex takes backslash SQRT and takes whatever's in the braces and gives us the square root. So just like a computer programming language, the command outputs something. So let's try one more here. Let's try backslash frac, open, brace, open braces A, and B outside the braces, and let's see what that looks like. So we got the fraction A over B. So this is what LaTeX does. It takes commands and gives you pretty print for your documents. Now, LaTeX has a ton of these types of commands. God forbid you had to go learn every command that latex has just to do your homework right so thankfully there's software out there called latex editors now a latex editor is a graphical interface or a front end for latex commands our professor uses a latex editor called winedit w i n e d t and it's a commercial program for windows that's a front end for latex and i've seen it and it works quite well you can go check that out but I know something that's free that's similar to that and this latex editor is called Lix L Y X so let's look that up on Google and go to their home page and I can tell you right now that this is a very nice program and you're going to need it for this tutorial so you should go ahead and download it now and I'm assuming you're using Windows, so go ahead and download the newest version for Windows. Forgive me, my internet's kind of slow here. And go ahead and save it. I've already saved it, so I'm going to cancel. Now I can tell you there's something else that you need that goes along with Lix here. It's called MikeTex. So again, let's go to Google and look up MikeTex, M-I-K-T-E-X and go to their home page and go to the download section and download again the newest version of Mike Tex. okay so go down here and look for the 82 megabyte download of Mike Tex and select the second mirror down in the list Gen 2 here I found that to be the fastest one and go ahead and download this too So we're going to start downloading that, and that could take a little bit, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back, and Mike Tex has finished downloading here. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. We're going to install that before we install Lix.
and we're presented with the mic text installer dialog here and this is should be pr pretty familiar to you uh, just like any other windows installer we're going to go ahead and click through this and we're going to go ahead and change this to install missing packages on the fly yes and hit next and go ahead and start the installation and this might take a little bit so again I'll be right back okay I'm back and I told you that it would take a little while so it should say the main task is being executed go ahead and hit next here and you can go ahead and hit close like I said hopefully that went smoothly for you if not go ahead and leave a comment in the video if you have any questions and I'll try and get back to you on it and the next thing we have to do is start installing the Lix program so you can either find it in your downloaded folder or click on it in your download list here and begin installing it and once again you're presented with a Windows installer dialog and we're going to go ahead and click through that and I've already got it installed so it's asking me if I want to reinstall and okay here it asks you do you want to use an existing latex system in the following folder now hopefully it's already pointing to your mic text folder if not you're going to have to click through and go to your program files and find your mic text folder that you downloaded to and find the bin folder in the mic text install folder as it is here okay so we've got it set to use mic text and go ahead and hit next uh, select your language select English and it's asking us to select a language for the spell checker English and the program installation folder and we're good and so once again this will take a minute so I'll be right back and as you can see right now it's downloading the a spell spell check library so go ahead and click through for the a spell installation okay once again I told you that it can take a while and I'm back and the Lix installation process is completed here and like I said hopefully that went smoothly for you again if it didn't either leave a comment or just try running the installer again this is all you'll have to do and then Lix will be installed so go ahead and click finish here and Lix is installed on your computer and I'm gonna go ahead and end this video and come back in a second video to show you how to use Lix and so I'll see you then